Hi, everyone. Hi, y'all. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Garon Stitchery. The house of Garon Totten Bags. <laughs> hey, I have my like, t shirt today. Oh, I didn't even understand. <laughs> yeah. Right. Matching with my chair. Yeah, I got the right chair this week. Yeah, you guys called me out for using the Christmas chair. Yeah. The body is, that chair is black, but have a cover. Anyway, welcome to our channel. Yes. We are a floss tube channel about cross stitch. And um, we are cross stitchers ourselves, and we are owners of a cross stitch shop online and we currently are in the process of building uh, uh an lns in ozark alabama so um in the end of this video i have a video of the process yes the progress mm -hmm. yes. We had a lot a lot of progress done this week yes yeah so so excited um, and for those of you that are coming back thank you very thank much for you. coming back and watching every week um and I, i'm glad everyone is enjoying the um shop the shop section and someone had brought up, what are we going to do after we get to Z? What's the next? Uh, I don't think there's a Z. Well, <laughs> once we get to the end of the alphabet. Oh, uh, okay. What, what are we, what's our next segment going to be? So we have to think about what we want to oh, do. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Maybe by then we would be. Maybe in... by dreads? <laughs> no, maybe by then we will be in the shop and we'll have different um, opportunities to do in the physical shop. Yes. That'll be cool. So yes. we'll, we'll think about it. Yeah. And uh, thank you to 911 Stitcher. Stitcher. Stacy. Stacy, thank you mm -hmm. so much for the shout out. Mm -hmm. And our dear uh, Memphis, Memphis Sarah, mm -hmm. thank you so much for your shout out. And I want uh, to the thank you to Salty Stitcher, Salty Stitcher Design, for the lovely card you sent us. And she sent us um, the new release she have it. What is, uh, I can read it now. It's a, sorry. Um, it's a nautical snowflake. Nautical snowflake. Yeah, I gotta be careful because the pattern's on the back of this card. So I'm trying to be yeah. easy. And she give us two, um, sorry. Sunflowers. Sunflowers. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I love it. And I'm gonna put it in my stash. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm new. You guys want these charts? Let us know. We will order to from um, Salty Stitches. Yeah. And uh, but this one go. It's a present, and it's gonna be in my stash. Yeah. And how to uh, talk to us and request that is is by email, because email is how we can track and control what mm -hmm. information comes in and what information goes out. So um, if you wanted either one of these charts, let us know by email. The email's in the drop down menu, or you can go to the website and click on contact us, and that'll send us an email also. Yeah. Um, I don't think so she go be in a, no. a market, but she just made these two new charts. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much, um, Salty Stitches, for a beautiful, lovely present. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do the snowflake and undo the other one. Oh yes thank you i love <laughs> snowflake Woo! all right all right so um that's all the cards that's all that so let's go into finishes you uh, finish no me i i have no finish no no okay. um uh let's go into whips so i only worked on one thing this week because i was so busy with all the computer stuff that i just couldn't focus on multiple color changes. So I worked on my conversion of Elegant Alphabet and um, one of the Nora Corbett witches and I've added some other. Put I've got closer to the okay. camera. I can't see. I can't go see it. Right there. Oh my God, you do all that last night. I just see it. Yeah. Oh, right. wow. So let me pull it back so you can guys can hear me. So uh, I finished all the alphabet and I added some of my goodies here. I added, um, had some little potion bottles from, from some chart and had a little, some little books here. So I still have some other things I want to add. I don't want to clutter it. So I'm trying to be strategic with my and adding. The bats over here. Yeah, oh, forgot. The bats over here. And those of you who, those are specialty stitches on the bats. I did satin stitches for the wings. So, um, it's not as easy as you would think to put a cross stitch area in a random place without making a shape. So I, I struggled with that a little bit. So they look a little boxed in, but 
I think they're coming out. <laughs> they're coming out that way. And you're fighting with a mat for putting her in the center. Uh, you say it's a lot of math? Yeah, there's a lot of math in this. Um, and I'm more of an eyeball guy, so I kind of eyeball it. And it's, it's close enough for me. Um, so I'm not, I'm not a designer. I'm not claiming to be. I will never be a designer. I just wanted to play with converting some of my favorite pieces together in this one piece. Um, so I still want to do like, there's a small moon here with a, with a raven that I want to do. Mm -hmm. And then I believe there's, this is where I get kind of crazy. Either I'm going to put like, there's an owl on, on a, on a pole here, maybe right here. It'll start here and go through here. And then the end of it will come here. And then I need to find something for, I've got a cauldron to put right here with some bubbles coming up. And then uh, maybe I might put some more books over here or some potion bottles to kind of end it out. So I think that might be it because because the moon is white and then the owl over here is going to be a white owl. So I think you have a white, white and white, but I want to try it and see how mm. it's going to look. It's not a big moon. I got, I got a smaller moon that I'm going to put over here. So it's not that big. Wow. Yeah. I had a bigger moon that I it's thought. a big change. Yeah. So. Whew. That was fun. That means you're not working in the stocking yesterday? No, I did not make. But I, I could do it today. But I, I really want to get to that. The thing is, I have the idea in my head. And I got to hurry up and stitch it before I forget it. Or get distracted by something else. So I'm, I want to get that piece done. All right. I was working a little bit in my stocking, the Stony Creek Santa's Workshop. And I have almost half of Santa. Wow. And I do the letters. Welcome to um, Santa's shop, Workshop. And my husband called me a cheater because he said I was doing too much Bag stitch and uncounted, but I know shitter had to be done. Yeah, I know. Had to I, be done. He was like doing all the back stitching. I was like, well, I no, know it's I don't be do done. all back. Yeah. You just see my thing. I don't do all bag yeah. stitching. I'm I'm do almost all this red over here. Have oh, the okay. this one. All right, and then I'm do you know finish the bag stitching and the tab and finish the letters. Yeah, it looks good. What is bag stitch? But it had to be done because I had to, that is a one page, so, the first page, and now one go for the second page. Okay. And well, that, I think it's part of. I think part of. Wasn't there like another part of this? Was here was a different page? No. Oh, I thought something was a little piece of a sliver. No, that is in the in uh in this part here. Oh, down there. Oh, that, okay. Down here, part of his belly. I'm thinking, or the part of the, his suit is another page. Oh, I see it right there. His this little piece. This looks worse. Yeah. Yeah, his part of his <laughs> part of his jacket right there. You run into my cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. I will be stitching tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I think it's it's turning out really good. I really like it. Yeah. But that is my progress. And here, here and you add can... a tensile angle stitching this week. Yeah. I'm um yeah, we, I had too much to do. We have a lot of stuff going on. We've yeah. got um this great segment to bring in. So we've got so we're under announcements. Mm -hmm. So we've got um bag of the month, fabric of the month, thread of the month. The fabric of the month is fox and rabbit fabric of the month, atomic ranch fabric of the month, cottage garden thread of the month, uh the got wrong bags of the month. Um, the, all those invoices go out on the 28th. They always go out on the 28th of mm -hmm. every month. So, um, and we all know how PayPal loves to change things at the end of the month. So you may or may not get an, invo an email from PayPal saying you've got an invoice in your PayPal account. So always on the 28th, go check your PayPal account and see that you have your invoice there. Yeah, we had that there. I had to clean the house before we leave. I had to pack. We had to do the envelopes for the pre-orders. Yeah, we had to do all the shit. We had we had a lot of this week, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, yeah. The floor is start Monday. Is another thing we have in our bag. Yeah, so that Monday we maybe yeah. Monday. That's why this week has been really crazy because we've been running back and forth to the shop a lot, stopping in the middle of something, and you come back and figure out where was I at? What did I do? Do I get to start over? So we'll be, that'll happen again on Monday. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because you had to, we had to be, or I had to be on top of these people working there. I had the floor 
people is smooth, no issues, no headaches, <laughs> because it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, uh, and then, okay, so let's talk about um, Nashville market for a little bit. Um, all Nashville market pre-orders for things that are not in the website. If you're buying something from the website, that is not a Nashville pre-order. That's a, that's an order. So everything that you're ordering for Nashville market that's not in the website, you'll get a PayPal invoice and you click and open your invoice to see what's on there. Check your items and make sure those are the items. Mm -hmm. um, because we have 1,400 people. So it's kind of hard to, to catch up with um, who, you know, Oh, is everything on my invoice? I uh, hope so. <laughs> yeah, no, we try our best. Yeah, we do our best. We try our best that everything you yeah. pre-order is in yeah. your invoice. Yeah. It, it's and just once we've taken the spreadsheet and created the invoices and sent it out, um, we're, we're shipping. We're shipping then. So yeah. it's kind of hard to go back and look. And thank you to two uh, beautiful friends. They, I'm calling my elves. They go come in and helping me to pick it up orders. Mm -hmm. And oh, I'm really appreciating. There's no huge yet, but I'm really appreciating they they yeah. come in and help this year. Yeah, yeah. And and again, we we didn't do we don't do fabric as pre-orders because um, dyers they can only bring so much fabric as they travel, and uh, it's best for us to get what we can while we're there, and then if it's a special fabric later, we can order it. Yeah. Um. And so that's how we've worked it in the past. It it helps out because if you wanted a fabric. What happened in the past is if you wanted a fabric, we took a pre-order for it. They were sold out. They took an order there at the market, and then it was like eight weeks. So we were holding a market pre-order for eight weeks. Yeah. We can't keep up with that. Yeah. No. <laughs> it was worse. It was bad in the little bitty house. It's probably worse now because we got so much, so many moving parts. Yes. So, uh, again, thank you for your understanding. And mm -hmm. everyone has been really pretty good about that. We haven't had a lot of um, people asking, so it's good. Yeah. Um, let's see. And market... Other things for market. While we're at we, market, we will not be able to um, respond to your requests and emails by Facebook or Messenger or anything like that because we have one task. We're running from room to room to room to room. It's four floors. There's two of us, and um, it's it's a run. We had the phones on just for him to call me or I to call him for any issues we can find. Yeah. Like last year, one uh, designer say, oh, I'm sorry, I messed it up, and I know how you order, and I'm panic. Mm -hmm. And I called Gary, and I said, <laughs> and, um, and there, um, she said, coming back later, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to figure it out and come back later. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go back later, and I don't know how she do, but she yeah. had our pre-order oh, yeah. there yeah yeah the, the designer somebody are... cancel it or something yeah. happened there it might have been there she just couldn't see it but, yeah but anyway yeah but and, yeah the designers are very helpful for us and yeah. we are grateful to the designers uh we, that's why we do the pre-orders we send our pre-orders to the designers as as many of them that will accept pre-orders so not only are we running around to make sure we get the pre-orders we are also doing shopping yeah. so um it's a twofold thing there's a lot of items that are, you can't pre-order. You can only buy at the shop. There's a limited quantity. So you're running to, which eight do I go to first? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. I mean, it's it's a great adventure. Um, it's just a stressful adventure and you just got to take it with uh, a stride. So uh, we're going to miss you guys because we will be doing Sunday Zoom that week. And so all the communications that we have with you guys, we really look forward to those every week. And every day yeah and you will see what is in the in the in the uh, market items you can see in our website you can go see Carolyn Sook it is um I what was her her, her know, shop with me shop with me Carolyn mm -hmm. Sook yeah in um 911 I'm thinking she mentioned in two where where you can found mm -hmm. our, our pre-orders to right. pre-order too many of the signings are already close the limit actually when you're watching this video all of our pre-orders have been closed okay by for us to send to the designers so uh we will be buying extras for the shop so look forward to uh when we load the website what we're what we also do when we come back from market is we have all the nashville items in a f segment in the website that says nashville pre-orders we will keep those items 
in that folder section so it's easy for you to find. Um, when we come back to market, we'll populate those with quantities. And if you didn't pre-order one of those items, you can purchase what's an extra stock there. And we, we, we will continue uh, inventory that we can continue buying. We'll be continuing buying throughout the year. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. All right. Saying that, we are happy to what is new in the shop mm -hmm. and what is coming back. Yep. Um, yeah. This charts first. Charts first. All right. So back um, in the shop. Back in the shop. Every time we show these, we, we have a lot of people who's never seen them before, and they're like, "Ah!" This time we got smart. <laughs> well, actually, our <laughs> su our supply source was able to get us all five parts, so we are really good to go. So this is quilting bees A B C. This is part one. Erica so, Michaels. Erica Michaels. So every part, the part one is just letters A through through E. And then you have to buy all five charts to be able to make the completed pattern. And then part two is F through K. And they are extra um, things to stitch in there. Like this one has a little mini pillow to stitch to. So they all have, and that one has like a little long pillow there. Mm -hmm. So there's more than just that main pattern in there, which is really fun. And then here is three, which is L to Q. And you can see that it's the letters are making these quilting uh, little quilt things. And then we have uh, part four, which is R to W. <laughs> R to W. And R to W is kind of fun because then it gives you an option of doing something like that. So they are pretty fun. And then we have um, part five, which is X to Z, and that one has another little pillow, which is a very fun little pillow too. So, so it's kind of fun for these for the extras. And that is the five. That's the five. Now, mm -hmm. um, of course, Linda at Erica Michaels, she is always um, she's good with the theme. She's amazing with with keep us keep us in engaged. And she um, had had another idea in her head, and she created quilting berries. So this would be a great. Three little berries, great to add with the completed picture, completed stitched item, and all the little pillows. So it's like great. Mm, I like that colorful, the little quilty. Mm -hmm. I love this one. Yeah, that is yeah. one I like it. Yeah. I mean, you just look at those colors. It's just yummy, yummy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's that. And now we have this is back in the shop. This is Aju Pears from um, Annie B's Folk Art. And she has her new one in uh, in Nashville, the green one, which is, um, I think it's called Green Pear. And so here's the uh, Jus Pear. We have, the, there's a blue one and another red one. This is kind of an orange color. Okay. So those are fun. I got to do one of those. I mean, I, I'll stitch it and I'll send it to someone else to turn it into a little pear. I think that's just amazing, the shape. All right. <coughs> so now, brand new, brand new from Mirabilia. This is her latest. And I think it's the last one in the series. Um, it's the February Amethyst Fairy. That's so, so she did one for every birth month. So every month has, has their own big full size fairy now. Yeah, the, the Marsh one, she looks like she's got a cabbage dress on. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay. And then we have back in the shop. I think I got it. Yeah, I'm good. All right. This is, uh, from Leela Studios. Autumn is as joyful. So this is back in the shop. We had a couple people asking for this one, so we got it back. And then also from Leela Studios, we have the Lord's Prayer. There was a someone was finishing was stitching on this in our Facebook group, and there was a quite a bit of you who said, "Ooh, is that still available? Can we get it?" So we got it here. So if you're looking for it, it's out there on the website now. And that's a lot of reading for me to read without my glasses. See, I came prepared. <laughs> I got an excuse. <laughs> it's it's the Lord's Prayer. Everybody knows the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. All right. And then this is an oldie but a goodie. This uh, we had someone ask for this, so I thought I'd get some. This is a uh, Churchfield Manor bands. So if you like doing Rosewood Manor, Rosewood Manor. So if you like doing uh, band samplers, 
or you want to break some of these out and make little pillows or little strips and stuff. It's great. Look at these, they're pretty fun. And then uh, uh, Karen from Rosewood Manor always gives you lots of extra things. So there's like some alphabet. This is just a photo. This is not the chart. This is just uh, saying it's included inside the letters. And then I think she's got a couple of other little things in there. And it's all DMC. So that's pretty good. All right. So Blackbird. Blackbird uh, is not going to Nashville this year. So uh, Hoffman is is there representing them in uh, Nashville. So first we got the information that these were the two charts being re-released and it was Christmas Rose by Blackbird in the, and it's from the series from, it's number four in the Christmas Sampler series. So there's that one. So this is actually in the shop now, but if you did pre-order it, we have it pulled aside for you. And then of course they reprinted Home for the Holidays this is an amazing book. This is the one that has that bird in it. Everyone knows that bird. And then also the Christmas Garden, which is the one I have one fourth of the way done. It's only got four pages. So, and it's got these really cool little stockings. So um, this is Home for the Holidays, if you're looking for that one. Um, but the actual two charts that they did re-release, we will show you at the end because we're still taking pre-orders for Hoffman. All right. And that is all the charts that's new or back in the shop. And now we're going with the fabric. Hold we on. got just today. Take a breath. Breathe. We don't want anyone passing out. We got needle and flax fabric. Yes, we got it last night. Gary announced it in the group. that is going to be done this weekend. That I'm running and I'm doing it this morning. I cut it in surgery and... It's ready, and the website is, uh, this one is uh, Dirty Teacup. Yeah, so so we have Dirty Teacup in 18 Count Ada, 32 Linen, 36 Linen, and 40 Linen. Mm -hmm. Then we have a Sleeping Bird. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, and a couple of these fabrics, I believe they are part of, they are used in some of the releases coming up in Nashville. So this one is, again, we have it in the 18, 32, 36, and 40. And we also have a few fat quarters in 46 count of the Sleeping Bear. Okay. This one is Fragile. I think it's Fragile. Frag? Fragile. She, she, I think it says Fragile. It looks like fragile, but it's fragile -y. Okay. I only know that because the way she, she said you have so. to say it this way. I'm like, all right. I, I just read in fragile. Okay. Well, yeah. That's a nice gray. All right. And this next one, I love this color. Look at this. You can say this that is, one. This uh, is Mackinac Fudge. Mmm, I'm hungry now. So this one we have in all the counts, uh, 18 to 40. 18 to 40. Let me say it right. 18, 32, 36, and 40. And Look at this the one. last but not least is... This is Delaware's Crossing. Look at that. And we have it in 18, 32, 36, 40, and 46. So there's only two colors we got in 46. And they're in fact quarters listed out on the website. Delaware Crossing. Mm -hmm. And we have have these, some this of these... New yeah. and back in the show. Oh my God, this is really... This is... This, be careful that one. Yeah, I hope this one is showing right because this looks really like a it is, pretty it is, sky. Um, well, my eyes looking like it's perfect. I show. mean, it is so pretty. You can imagine like like that new Mirabilia on here or any Mirabilia would look great on that. Yeah. So that is it of fabric. Okay. It was a big and box of fabric. That one over there too. Right. So. I need the empty box. <laughs> <laughs> for the new shirts all right now saying that we're going to shop to shop but first last week was j and k you know yes I'm looking j for and k is over here i'm looking for jan hicks so. oh what are you looking for here it is it's in the front he covered it up. all right 
Last month, last month, <laughs> last week, I make a mistake. I don't know how, don't ask me because I don't know what happened. And jump, Hank, Jan Hicks. Jan Hicks charts. Yeah. And Anna apologized to the designer. No, it was intentional. When Anna started putting all the charts Sunday or oh, Saturday morning in the, in the files, when I got there and I said, oh my God, I'm skip these ones. Yeah. It's here and we go show you. I think I know what happened. I think you were pulling them and then we got a call to go to the shop. We came back and Probably. you picked up the next drawer where you thought you were left off. Probably. But today is Jan Hicks. And the and, letter L. And all the letter L. Uh-oh. I got it. Okay. So she was, was, yeah, this is, yeah, she didn't have any small ones. Jan Hicks only got big charts. All right. Big pattern, pattern. All right, so the first one here is, oh, Jan Hicks. Uh, I'll let Ronnie do this one. Antonia Rosell y Garcia, 1886. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty one. Okay. Antonia Rosell y Garcia. Yeah. Okay, and now there's a story about these patterns. These patterns are were created by Jan Hicks in inspiration. Carolyn Zook, Zook Stitch, was the inspiration for these uh, seasonal charts because she loves air balloons. So uh, this is Caroline's Balloons Spring. So I thought that was cute. All right. And then here is Caroline's Balloons Summer. And then there's Caroline's Balloons Autumn. Hey, wait a minute. She's never been to Caroline's Balloon Halloween. Hmm, I think we're missing one. Oh, and we, we are missing, we're missing winter. But winter is out there. I think it's out there, isn't it? I don't know, maybe it's over here because it's maybe, W. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe it's out of order. <laughs> well, we shall find out. And then this is, oh my God, this thing has been flying out, out the door so fast. Every time we feel like I'm ordering it every other week. This is a Pluminus Unum, Jan Hicks take on the American flag. It is really pretty with all those those patterns and stuff stitched in there. And um, I really love this piece. I gotta put it, it's on my list to do after I finish One Nation. So I love this piece. And this next Every one. Every favorite flower. This is Hydrangea. Uh, this is her Flora Flor, Flor Graphica 2 Hydrangea. And so these, um, she's, She's uh, incorporating uh, cottage garden threads and other threads with them, with these patterns. So it's kind of nice to um, see designers that are using these uh, beautiful threads from cottage garden threads. And here is Flora, Flora Graphica 2 Iris. They're all called 2. Um, and then there's Flora Graphica 2 African Daisy coming out at market. So there will be three of this. I think there's four together because she, the way she's got the border is you could stitch them all on one piece. And th then that makes the frame. So each one is a different color. It's kind of fun. I can't wait to see it in her room. This is fall cottages. Oh my God, look at these crazy squirrels. It's a squirrel village, people. <laughs> I love it. Oh, and this one, um, remember when we showed this one? This was, this is a hopeful heart uh, prayer flag. That was, isn't that a pretty one? And it's the finish. I love how she finished it softly there. And just, you know, unravel a little bit like an Afghan. I'm having flashbacks when these, some of these came out at market a few last year or so. This is Huntington, Huntington Dawn Hall. Hopefully I said that right. Look at that crown. That is so cool. Huntington Hall. Oh, look at that. I love that crown. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I mean, you could do just just the centerpiece right there. That'd be gorgeous too. If you had like a little spot you wanted to put something in. Mm -hmm. And then here is In the Pink. Ooh. 
look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I know it's not the right that. It's, but it still would work. I'm thinking it's very close. In the pink. You have to use a uh, light colored thread, so a nice dark brown fabric would work perfect with that. <gasps> Love it. Always get inspiration. I'm thinking even the, he had dark uh, brown. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that dark brown and that brown is going to be popping more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And this is uh, Louis. Chapius, Luis Chapuis, uh, 1844. Luis Chapuis. Oh, that kind of looks like one of the, like the sleeping bear fabric. Doesn't that, that look like the sleeping bear fabric? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay, cool. And then here's another, another super, super hot one from Jan Hicks. Love. Look at those cardinals. Oh my gosh. They are gorgeous. Yeah, I'm ready to stitch some cardinals. They are gorgeous. Right. And then here we have another flag. We have love is love with the rainbow. Isn't that pretty? I love how she breaks up. You're not just stitching straight blocks of squares. You're stitching like uh, shapes and stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. I think this would be pretty cool. Oh my God. This, this one, I saw this one in person. It is so amazing. Um, what... It's cute here, but in person, it's like, wow. Gorgeous. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, of course it's got snowflakes. I think there's a curse that I keep being drawn to snowflakes because they know I love them. But, uh, oh, okay, so Mother's Day is coming. Mom, so much love. Look at that heart. It's like a quilted, look at that quilted heart. That is a very special piece. And then here we have mystery. mystery. Ooh, pretty, pretty cool. Okay. And now we have, um, this is Palace of Winds, a study of variegated threads. So this is the pink version. Um, and they're all done with cottage garden threads. We have the her green conversion thread pack all over there already. I think she's got some other thread colors I'll talk to her when I go to Nashville. I think I saw somewhere where she sent out, there's like a blue conversion too. Unless I dreamed it. Maybe it's in the chair, no? No, because she did it afterwards. It was only green and red. Oh. And then I saw later somewhere about a blue one. So this is another cool flag. This is a peace prayer flag that she finished with the, with the, um, the fringe on the bottom. I don't think I'd put my cross stitch outside like that. No. Yeah. No, remember you made me wanna Gary made me wanna sign. Um it's over uh, here. You can't see it. it. Yeah, I'm in the backyard because we're not working in the backyard in my other house. Is somebody coming um, they can go by the gate and when he finishes I say, uh uh I don't go put it that one outside not even for a little time. Yeah. yeah. I I I I I um stitched the words that he said. So it's in his, it's in the Ronnie language. Uh this is Spring Cottages. Another little branch village. So this would be the bird village. Yeah, try it over here. Right there. Yeah. Oh, here's the summer cottages. Oh, we got the cottages together. Huh? Okay, this was this was fun. So there's seahorses. This must be under the sea. So this is a summer cottages with seahorses on the branches. Ooh. I like this series too. Samplings of lace spring. What colors were those on the back? Does it say the colors? I know it does, but um, mm, what company? Mine do. Oh, she's got it on the inside. Never mind. It's probably um, over dyed threads. Ooh. DMC equivalent. equivalent. What is it to make the cording? Okay. Yeah. No. It's on the inside. It's okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, uh, no. For the ones who like purple, that was like, it's like a pinky one, right? This one is Samplings of Lace Summer. Look at that purple. Ooh. I think this is, yeah, this is the one I have in my stash. I have the purple one in my stash. 
Oh, look at that. And here's the sampling of Lace Autumn. That is gorgeous. It's wow. great. It's like a nice little collection. If you have just a small area, you want to have, have yeah, its own little that brown little window. Is looking gorgeous in the, mm -hmm. the fabric. Look at this one. You like this, the winter one? I prefer the Adam. The browns? Okay. Yeah. So here's winter. Look at these turquoises. Maybe a lighter, a lighter uh, blues. Uh, go know. go crazy for me, but that dark blue, no. I think I like. I, I will think... do it in a more more Turkish turquoise. Turquoise. Mm -hmm. I you see could... one right now. Barricade. Mm. There. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> he's already re 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 changing the colors. Okay. All right. So here is uh, silver bells. That's the fun part about being around floss is you do okay. it. Okay, and put it around. No, that's right. That way. Yeah, here's the next one. No, mm -hmm. I'm putting it around. Keep going. All right. So I'm here is uh, Silver Bells, and she's showing you how to do it on two different fabrics. I think there's two different um, thread colors too. Here's that Silver Bells. Sorry guys, I had to be very picky in the organization because I don't want Miss Charles with the yeah. pictures. He's really good about Tranquility. that. Tranquility. Tranquility. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. That reminds me of something. We have a special a special thing uh, that we're going to be bringing back from Nashville. One of our, some, a special exclusive for Garon. That reminded me of that. <laughs> mm. Yeah, all right. So here is Vintage Christmas Alphabet number five. Ooh. So the all the alphabet are out now. So the whole, if you wanted to stitch the whole series, if we don't show it, we can get it. So this is five. And here is six. So she did, uh, what she do, three letters? Yeah, three letters. And they all use the same three or four colors, I believe. They're DMC. And then here is number seven. Five, six, seven. Okay, we're getting food. We're in order. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm putting it in order. All right, and then, so, that, so there, that must mean we're missing the first four, but we, we can get them. Here it is, eight. I like the words. And then here is, but I mean, if, if these weren't your colors, but you like the design, of course, you know, you're always there because there are three colors. They're very simple to change it to your favorite colors. You know, it's not overly complex to, to change the color. Here's number 10, V and W. And now we have number 11, which is X, Y, and Z. Zest. All right, All right y'all. That was Jan Hicks Creates. Mm -hmm. They I miss it up. Now we're going to now, the letters L. Yeah. So now we are doing letter L. So we do know the alphabet. We did not put J and then L. Uh, we picked up from a mistake we did last week. <laughs> yes, I did the last week. I didn't catch it either. I mean, well, yeah, it's true. It's us because yeah, because I'm like he knows supervise good. I know, I'm a bad supervisor, but he needs a lot of supervision. What? <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> All right, so Lottie Da is our first L designer, mm -hmm. and um, this is a pocket for potions. Oh, I love this one. It's a quickie, I could do that really quick. I need to do it. I say that every time, don't I? But you guys expect it now. I did do this one. This is And Rudolph. And Ronnie made mine into a little banner. It's hanging. So, okay, Christmas is still hanging up in the hall. We still have some cross stitch Christmas hanging in the hall because we're going to move them to the shop. So, I don't, I don't want to put them in a box yet. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there's And Rudolph. And what I did on my And Rudolph, I changed Rudolph to red. So, I used the, the muted colors and then I just changed the word Rudolph to red because he's a red nose. 
Did I undo a pen there to do that? Yeah, you did a little banner because there's a little snowflake on the top and the mm. bottom. And this is, and they and they were not ashamed. This is an Adam and Eve sampler. <gasps> Till he in the apple. Yeah. <laughs> Be merry all, be merry all, we welcome Merry Christmas. Oh, that's a cute one. I love the little bird with the reef. I don't remember this one before. Okay, and then here is uh, Christmas in my heart. I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all year, all, all the year. Red, see, those of you that were in the Fox and Rabbit Club and you got that nice red fabric, Here's a perfect picture, perfect pattern for that. And we have red fabric in the shop, different kinds. Here is Elizabeth Char Charnelay. Charnelay, W. Charnelay. Reproduction sampler. Elizabeth Charnelay. It's really small. Up. Okay. And then here is Elizabeth Jones sampler. Okay. And then we have flowers for Beatrice. Oh, this one was real. I remember this one when it came in. It was everybody. Beatrice. Everyone should be getting ready to stitch this because they got it last year. There should be someone stitching this by now. Come on, guys. Is it done yet? The, the letters are quick because they're just done with Smarter Crosses. This is uh, Kindred Spirits of the Thread. Oh. Look at this. Little drum. Okay. And the next one here is Little Annie Lewis, another alphabet sampler. Cool, cool, cool. Next one, I want to do it. And now he really wants to do it since he knows there's no white stitches. No, I don't even know till you tell me. Yeah. So this I love it. I like is, it. This is my country. It's been in my stash. Probably years since 2016, <laughs> but I just love it. I saw it in a shop. Of course, you see them in the shop, and you're like, "Wow, that is so cool!" The bird and the flag. Read the legend, please. Read the legend, huh? My country, tis of the sweet land of liberty. Of thee, I sing. I love it. Yeah, I love it. And I remember seeing these in her shop, in her um, booth. At market uh sampler hair aren't those cute i love the little animals i bet they're hard to finish it i don't know that's why they go to finishers and you do that one i have this one right there one oh, yeah. two and three so this is something wicked something wicked And this was back before I was, I found, before I knew what NPIs were. And so I, I used um, over dyed threads. And I think I used, um, what was that? Weeks? There's a Weeks thread, no, Weeks, but a general arts thread that's black and red. And that's what I use for the letters. Um, this is another rabbit. This is Sweet Pea. I think I like this one better. It doesn't have a house on it. I like that one. Sweet pea, super cute. Kind of looked like a hammer there for a minute. Here is uh, the raven, and that's up top right there. So I did all three of them on the same fabric and with the same flaw so that they would all go together. And then they were all framed. Again, it's really fun because there's if there's only like two or three colors, it's easy to make sure they coordinate. And this is one that is in my stash also. It's the Toten Hair. And I, well, first I liked it because it's the name Toten. It was kind of like the Toten bag, a little bit of the Toten bag name. But then uh, it's a rabbit too, so I like rabbits. So yeah, they're spelling different, Toten. T-O-T-T-I-N. Yeah, it's, it's spelled different. <coughs> it's probably spelled the right way. I'm probably spelled mine wrong, but <laughs> that's the first thing that came to mind. And then here is the, the big long nose, which toil in trouble. You had that one? Yeah, it's right there. It's in the middle. 
<laughs> okay. Did you know it? Nope. I'm oh, thinking. No. I'm thinking on see it, but I'm not sure. All right. Here's. I think I've done all her Halloween ones. Not. No, I have not. There's a new one that's out. This is a uh, Wicked Witch. And I have this one done as a banner, as a bell pull. Ding. What's it say? It says, "Ding dong, the witch is dead." Which old, which old witch? The wicked witch. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. And it's right over here on my little shoulder right there. This is the one. This is one that I need to do. This is Witch Hazel. It came out last year or sometime. Look at that. Isn't she a beauty? She's a pretty, pretty crow. And guys, this was L. No, la di da. La di da. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. Yeah, I want to say la di da. They are la di da. <laughs> all right, now the next group are all in plastic, so I will do my best to show them without a glare. Yeah, um, it's sealed. So, I can open yeah. it. So it may be between Ronnie and I who, who can hold it better. This is uh, the Angel of Healing. I've seen her. Oh, my God, she could go perfect on that blue fabric. Okay. I'm already kidding, already planning. Okay, so here is Angel of Healing. Oh, there she is. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh my God, she is so pretty. All right. Okay. And now we have um, Celtic um, Spring. Wait a minute. Am I saying it wrong? I think it's, I'm thinking I'm supposed to say Celtic. Because, yeah, I think it's Celtic Spring. I know everyone's probably yelling at me. It's spelled C. I know, but it's but it's L T I C. Right, but when it's spelled that way, and it's the basketball game or the boxing game, whoever the sports people are, it's called Celtics. Everybody else calls it Celtic. Okay, I remember that. This is Celtic Summer. Oh, I love these. And then we have Celtic Autumn. Now, Celtic Autumn, I saw somewhere in one of the Halloween Facebook groups, somebody took her and converted her to red, to orange and black, and made her more Halloween and put a hat on her. Oh my god, look at her. This is pretty. This is uh, Celtic Winter. Isn't she pretty, that white? It's a lot of white stitches, but she's gorgeous. And then this is another, this is one that I want to do. This is Celtic Christmas. And the way those reds are designed, every time I see it, I think of velvet. They just, multiple reds are in there and it just looks so like velvet. This is a restart for me. This is Song of Christmas. Okay. Oh, I think, yeah, there it is. There you go. All right, Song of Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Silly me, when I started him, you know, it's on green. I should have went to green, but I didn't. I picked like a blue and a white and it was, it didn't look right. So, oh boy. Here's, here's one of our favorites. You guys know her. It's uh, only, what, what is it? It's only big charts. No, it's not. I got it. All right. Okay. This is Les Petites Crooks. Mm -hmm. Little X's. <laughs> All right, so we have Afternoon in the Mountains. Oh, I don't know how this is. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so that way he doesn't, we don't see anything, we don't see anything. <laughs> Nothing going on back here behind the winter. <laughs> That's pretty. That is so pretty. And then we have, I don't think anybody's seen this one because this was one of the first ones I got. This is Christmas Day. And it looks like a little mom um, reading a book to her son on Christmas morning. I love that one when I saw it. And then we have Autumn Gnome Umbrella for our autumn people. Isn't he so cute? Then we have Christmas Rabbit. Look at that. I love him. Yeah, it's beautiful. And then we have there's we have someone who's stitching this in one of our Zoom in our Zoom group, uh, Christmas coffees. Mm. Oops, here we go. Now we have gingerbread gnome. Uh, be warned, this this designer you will do back stitching and back stitching, but that's what makes this all pop so pretty. This is Halloween candy shelf. 
at that. There is a lot going on there. I mean, that's a major piece. And that would be like an ultimate, like um, a centerpiece for any Halloween area. I mean, oh my gosh. Look at the eyes, the boo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this is um, Halloween Gnome. He's got candy corn hat on. Cute, cute, cute. And then we had, this guy was pretty popular. This is the Halloween Owl Pumpkin. He's a fun guy. Here's another uh, platter. This is pumpkins on a platter. That's gorgeous. It's so detailed. Her platters are so detailed. They're not just thrown together. They're really cool. Oh, this must be an older one. Look at this. Mm -hmm. This is um, the, the Rose and Bird. The Rose and Bird. Very pretty. And that was the last one. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Now okay. we're going with. I think I'm going to do it this way. Now we're yeah. going to go with uh, Lindy Stitches. Mm -hmm. And this is a book. This is a spooky book. And there's, there's six um, patterns in here to do. So here are three on the cover. Oh, and the other three are back here. Grave Fellows. And there's a little cat and a little ghost there. So there's the spooky book. And here is, oh, she has the name on the back of her charts. There yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. I'm putting. Yeah, a stitch for sweet freedom. I knew the name. I just remembered that she put her name on the back of this. All right. So here is a group of cats. This is number five. Uh, good luck. All right, and this is number three, black, blackest cat. Okay, and this is number one, midnight walker. Yeah, I don't know why I'm gonna put it in order. That's okay. And this is uh, house house panther number four. And then, if you wanted all six of them, we have all six of them in a prepackaged packet that's all right now oh my god i remember these guys okay so this is um beach dance there's beach dance the two little birds make into a needle book oh this reminds me of somebody i know that's close to me bloom where you're planted it's a stinker Call me stinker. <laughs> okay. Is it? Yep. Okay. Oh, look at this. Okay, I forgot all about this one. All right, this is Bunny Bunny Lace Trio. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's just very simple. Practice your white stitches, that's for sure. And then the next one here is uh, Bury Me With My Needle. I think that's a must if you're a cross stitcher. I think you definitely need to have a needle with you. All right, now we have this. Oh, this is birds to the bowels. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at those pretty birds. Very bright. I love the bright colors. I mean, yeah. it's, it's really pretty. I love it. Yeah. This is beautiful. Wow. And there's like the crowns on the birds. There's like um, I love this the chest of the birds. Look at the the pattern that you stitch into the chest of the birds with the different colors. I will read it. Oh. As birds are fitted fitted to be to the bows. Bowed. So was my love to me. Mm -hmm. Was so was my love to me. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Because they came to somebody else. It is. You're the one who loved you did that. You love to you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, so here is change in latitude. <laughs> <laughs> change in latitude. <laughs> latitude. Latitude, not attitude. I have to check because I like, what? 
Okay. And then we have, what do we have here? Uh, I'll say, okay. A change in light, latitude will change my attitude. Yeah. <laughs> this is a chosen, pres chosen precious child. And then we have December dance. They, they get little hats on there. I think this is a smaller version of it though, too. This is December down under. Okay, it's it's the birds and stuff from, from Australia down under. December down under. Those are fun. Oh, I have this one. I have the model over there. This is Dracula's Confession. I have this model over there in the wall. I had to go get a frame for it. Oh my God, it's been, oh, that's the same, that's the same. <laughs> I'm pretty for the same, guys. I think he really likes this one. This is called Eagle Manor. He wanted me to show it three times, four times. Four times. It's a cool little, um, very finish yeah. like well ten finish. This is Edna goes to brunch, and that's the picture that she based it off of. So there's a picture. Did she pretty darn good? It looks really close. Yeah. Oh, this is emo emo birds. I oh my god. Hmm. I like these guys. Look at these guys. Emo birds, nice big vultures. I think they're too big for my piece over there. Oh, my ex ghoul friend. I have this one to do, maybe one day. <coughs> she looks very green and happy. Oh, I have to do this one for the girls. Uh, for, uh, this is Dogs in the Garden Spring, frolicking in the daffodils, but it's a poodle. I have to change it for Ginger's color, and then I got to put Leah's spots on there too. So I got to stitch it twice. Since Ronnie stitched the other poodle, this is a cute. I have to do that one. It's a really good poodle. Uh, Glad tidings. It's like a two for one there. Okay. And then here's dogs in the garden, summer, helping, helping in the corn flowers. I think this is a corgi. Or a chihuahua? No, not chihuahua. Corgi, maybe it's a corgi. Corgi, okay. Yeah. Chihuahuas are different. Okay. They don't have that long curve. All right. Uh, but... And now we have uh, Halloween Tales. So we got two. Look at that. I love that little cat with the jacket on. And this is, is this jackal, um, Jackalopian Tapestry? It's a mythical beast. Unless you're in Texas, they think it's real. Hmm. All right, now we have a series. This is the airmail. Uh, is it what it's called? I think it's called the the airmail series. This is March uh, Turtle Dove. These are nice bright colors if you like bright colors. And they're all like stamps, 25 cents. Here is May Red, red Cheeked. Cordon Blue, 37 cent stamp. And then we have July, the European Goldfinch. Of course, it's 76 is July 19th. I see what she did there. <laughs> All right, and then we have September, um, Rainbow Bearded Thornbill. Then we have November is the Oculent Turkey. I know there was a couple of you guys stitching turkeys. That is gorgeous. Yeah. I love these bright colors because, you know, and look at the February one. February, Rose-Breasted Cockatoo. So she hasn't finished all of the months, but every now and then she'll throw us out a month here or there. So it's kind of fun. And now this is another series. This is the Bird Crush Club. And... This is the Violet Green Swallow. Okay. And then we have the Western 
Meadowlark. Probably inside has something. Stinky. Yeah, some little, make sure I don't drop it. Yes, let me see. And then here is the American Efcot. Yeah. I set. I will set. There. I'll let you guys see that. There's the name. Yeah. Okay. American Avocet. Yeah. And then Avocet. we have La Lazuli Bunting. Okay. Lazuli Bunting. All right. Cool. And then we have, oh, this one must come out of there. Yeah, this one go this way. Oh. And now we have Black Throated uh, Gray Wobbler. And then, ooh, what is this one? This one's kind of fun. This is the black-bellied whistling ducks. Look at those big pink seat feet. I mean, they look like, wow, they must swim fast. And then we have... This is the original picture that way you can see. It's, uh, she did very, very good work She's, with the... With the birds. She's with really birds. good with birds. Yeah. This is the broad-billed hummingbird. Mm -hmm. uh, same one he liked that he liked that one i like hummingbirds yeah and this is the american gold finch that's really pretty all right so what i uh, want to see she has inside but she puts in like a little postcard and a little information on some of them of the bird of the bird yeah yeah and this is Lewis's woodpecker. Let's see, I'm not showing it right. Yeah. Lewis's woodpecker. Black and red. Doesn't that you don't know what is the picture and what is the Yeah, the, the stitching is so good. Uh this is the long eared owl. Okay, flowers. This is the red faced wob wobbler. Okay. Then that is what we have in this collection. Yeah. And now we have um, Little Brown Bird. And so Little Brown Bird with breast of red, fly back to me for winter is dead. I guess he's a, bring, a spring bird. Mm. Okay. okay. Let me not forget. Uh, right... Injuries in dust, benefits in marble. Wish not so move. Wish not so much to live long as to live well. And a regretted, a, a right heart exceeds all. And then, oh my gosh, this is little. Um, there are three faithful friends, an all wife, an all dog, and ready money. <laughs> all right that is a cute I those, like the those are one. cute yeah and it's got like the little dog there okay, and that was now we have the next she makes a lot of designs she? yeah we wow. have a lot of wow, she, she's got a lot of options this is a semi kit i think if you turn it over it's a semi kit oh, you can show the kit yes uh this was from market from the Market a few years ago, I believe. Sharon Rooster threads. Yeah, it's the loose. Uh, finishing things. Yeah, yeah the patterns here. So yeah. it's the loose rooster. So either you could finish it like that, like the drum thing. Yeah. Or you could even frame it. It looks pretty enough. I'm looking at the pattern. It looks pretty enough just yeah. to frame it. But it's kind of cool. Oh, you to can have... do it, uh, um, what is it called? A uh, pillow. Just ha for hanging. Yeah. Like mine. There, uh -huh. like called? a flat fold, like a flat fold. Yeah. yeah, pretty cool. It's got all the, the stuff with it. And yeah. this is one that's really fun. This is Mary Mary Needle Worker. She did it in two color ways. She did it where you could stitch it this way, and she gives you the color way to do it on dark fabric. Mm, yeah. So you got two uh, color um, keys. All right. Okay. More Lindy. <laughs> all right, this is Marvelous World. And I think, after all, what a marvelous world. Oh, that's kind of cute. Birds. She likes birds, doesn't she? 
And this is Mermaid's May Pin Book. So it's a little needle book. You make it into a little needle book. Mr. and Mrs. Delicious. I have this in my turkey stash to do. I have a whole bunch of turkey patterns I want to stitch one day. You notice that they're not very plump turkeys. It's because they live a long time. I love this one. This one's super cute. Yeah. This is uh, Merry Beard Season. Mm -hmm. yeah, I love that fabric. I mean, it's very um, reminiscent of like old 50 style Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have... No, that's mm -hmm. that one. Then we have no good, no good for men nor beasts. A weathercock that swings to the east proclaims no good for man or beast. Oh, okay, must be a storm coming. All right, and now we have. She's got a couple. She did the dogs. Now here's some cats. Cats in the garden winter. A napping in the poinsettias. I love that one too. Isn't it so cute? Yeah, I love that one. It's so yeah. cute. It's like, yep, I'm here. I know it. I'm cute. And then now we have, what's this called? Peppermint candy. Peppermint candy, gingerbread spice. Christmas means everything nice. Oh, this is a cute, lively color. I love the bright um, colors. It's not normal Christmas colors. And then polar bear abode. Oops, it's got the pattern on the back. All right. Oh, sorry. Trying to... And now we have cats in the garden spring, prancing in the tulips. <laughs> yeah, daffodils and tulips. The dogs in the daffodils and, the, and cats in the tulips. Oh, here we go. Dogs in the winter in the garden winter, posing in the mistletoe. That is Mr. T. Ronnie. Yep, Mr. T. Ronnie. There it is, posing in the mistletoe. Oh, first. Okay, and now we got um, rooftop uh, cocoa shop. Look at these deer. Oh, it's a cute one. They're so fun. Okay, and now we have uh, dogs in the garden fall. This is romping in the sunflowers. This is cute. Yeah. for dogs okay so she's very nice to the stitcher see how she did the grass she didn't fill it in she made little squares and lines and squares and lines so you so you get that big area stitched really fast that's really nice i appreciate that <laughs> and now we have a uh, saltwater scrapbook this is number two saltwater scrapbook number one the companion piece was done by the blue flower so they coordinated together and they and that's what the piece looks like when it's all finished. Mm. So here's five pillows done by Lindy Stitches, and Ronnie's going to show you the other, the, the the companion pillows when you put them all together in a block of nine. There's six. It's a block of nine. nine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I miscount. Okay. Sorry, guys. And then now we have. Uh, Spring Force Scrapbook Part 1, and she did the same thing with um, the blue flower. Uh, and this, uh, so you pick and choose which ones you want to put in the block of nine out of the ten. Wow. All right, so this is Susie Susie Sampler Maker. Susie Susie Sampler Maker, how does your garden grow? With houses and deer on linen, a f and flower lined up in a row of flowers. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I remember this one, sweater weather. This one is a semi kit also. This is yeah. sweater sweater vest weather, and it's got the finishing supplies. Is that fabric too? Yeah, the the, the stitching, uh, the lining. Uh, it's Lugana. It's even oh, with Lugana yeah. even with. Oh. Yeah. Well, so this is sweater wetter, and yeah, it's she have a it's a semi kit I believe. Yeah, she had the finish the fabrics. Uh huh. And the and the needles. Yeah, needles. Oh no, no, they're not needles. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know this one is here, guys. This one coming. I know idea. 
is wow. on here, but Where's the it's coming. Huh. These fabrics and the, and the backing fabric. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm thinking one, you know, but no, there's, there's a pins. Oh, that's even pretty. There's pins there. Look, wait, wait, wait. The picture. You know what? I think we are showing the wrong thing. Why? Hmm. Oh no, it's there. They're on the picture. It's you there. scare me because I'm not confused. <laughs> I don't mess it up the shirt. All right, so here, that, that's the picture of what you make. It's a needle book. That is. Yeah. That's all the stuff to make that needle book. Okay. So you would stitch that and Whew, then. Scare me. I'm like, because I'll show you on the next pattern why I got confused. And this is the chart. Mm -hmm. All right. So on the next pattern, it's another turkey and he's got pins stuck in him. Oh. Because I'm like. <laughs> All right, so here is Strut and Tom, and all he all he is is well, where do you go? Strut and Tom, he's just the pin, is just the pattern. I'm putting it back. <laughs> I'm putting it back in the plastic bag. Yeah, just in case. <coughs> all right, so there's that, and now we have oh, this one just came out. This is a snack snack bar where the bears are eating their acorns. Okay, and this is. Cats in the Garden Summer, Stretching in the Daisies. Caroline, did you do this one? Just she likes daisies, right? Mm-hmm. Or and cats. Yeah. I think she likes cats. I don't know. Caroline. Meow. Now all the dogs just barked. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? This is Shining, shining, shining fish. fish. I have daughters and I have sons. When one of them lays a hand on my shoulder, shining fish turns suddenly in the, in the deep sea. Okay, it's a quote. It's cool. Oh, okay, I remember these guys too. This is uh, Uncle Sam's uh, rickshaw. And they, look at the little, the little, I think, wasn't there like, a, when this one came out, I think there was like, people were watching the, the, the eagles in the nest, they were getting um, hatching the baby eagles. In New York? I think it was... In a building in New York. I think so. I think that's when yeah. this pattern came out. We were all... Everyone was watching that. Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now we have Vulture Villa. I'm thinking they had the names for the female and the male. I think so. I remember yeah. something, yeah. Somebody put it... Vulture Vultice. Villa. Okay, there's that. This one is here. No, that one has nothing. Oh, let's okay. see that. And now this is Wandering Sheep. I was a wandering sheep once I preferred to roam, but now I love my father's voice. I love, I love his home. And he got a tattoo on his butt. His name. Okay, and now we have We Three... When shall we we three meet again? I thunder in thunder, lightning, or the rain. And it's still on that pretty green fabric. All right, and the last and one from Lindy Stitches or this one. Yeah, yeah. is Wildflowers and Keats. If I am destined to be happy with you here, how short is the longest life? That's some good ones. And that was. I mean, sometimes you. Stitches. Sometimes you think you'd. I'd love to be in the mind of a designer, but then when you see all the patterns, you're like, it's probably pretty loud in there. <laughs> and now we have one little pattern from a designer from the UK called Little Dove Designs, and this is Halloween spectacular. Isn't that a cutie? Nice, fun little pattern. Okay. And now, the next, next, next one. Ooh, we got some little bitty ones. That is that Little House Needleworks. Uh-huh. And we all know I have to get close because they are small photos. So I am, um, I will try. This is Alice's Winter Wonderland. 
So it's a little village based off of Alice, Wonder Alice in Wonderland. There's that. And, and they're all, I think almost all their patterns are either done with DMC or classic color works. This is Autumn ABCs. Yes, yes, DMCs. Autumn ABCs, classic color works. They're, it's their parent company. Mm. Okay. And now we have, this was a, a fun season, a fun series that we did. Uh, this is the fall in the farm. So I think it's like nine patterns and this is the center piece, fall in the farm. And you can stitch them all together in a square. And this is, uh, okay, this one is called, I think, I know it's called wrong. I thought it was called wrong. This one says it's, this is not number seven, the pumpkin patch. This is something the cow. At five o'clock? No, this is. Makes the cow. This is, um, this is fall on the farm, but it's the one with the cow. Yeah, but there is a name. No, I'm, oh, here it is. Uh, who, who a moo moo here? Who a moo moo here is the name of the chart. When they printed originally this, they printed the wrong name. I remember the email. Yeah, but read it again, please. With a moo moo here. Yeah, no who. <laughs> he hears everything, doesn't he? And here is number seven, Pumpkin Patch. These are fun charts because it's very, you know, it's, it's simple. It's, it's um. Like you quick finishes. Wait, this is the same one. We just did this one with the moo moo here. Okay. What's this? You there's no who is wheat. <laughs> <laughs> all the time, all day long, all day long. Oh my gosh. Okay. This little <laughs> piggy from the Fall on the Farm series. And then we have Wishing You Well. Still in the Fall in the Farm series. That was a great little series. Oh, this one. This, oh, this is Geppetto's. Uh, I think he's the, yeah. In the land of toys, every day except Sunday is Saturday. You get the little marinettes there in the window. And now we have, um, okay, there's a, there's probably a million and a half of the uh, hometown holiday patterns. We have a very small quantity, but if there's some that you're looking for, we can always reach out and get them. This is the hometown holiday mercantile. So people were making these in the little pillows at one time. They were stitching them on one big fabric, and then they also were where some people were stitching them on fabric and then putting them on the little star foam blocks and making them look like buildings. So it was all really fun. Oh, we need to stitch this one. Hometown Holiday Post Office. And we can put Kim right there. Mm-hmm. Hometown, okay. Then we have um, Hometown, this is... This is... Oh, the florist. I was looking for the name. This is the florist. See, they finished them different too. And this is ice uh, cream. Ice cream. Shop. <laughs> ice cream. I'm going to take his glasses off. <laughs> All right. This is Home of a Needle Worker. I know there was at one time a lot of people were stitching this one because it's, it matches. So you'd paint it, you'd stitch it green. This is one of my favorite series that I have collected. I have yet to do. But I will do one day. This is uh, Jack Frost. Jack Frost Tree Farm. This is the center panel. And then there's three blocks that go on top and three blocks that go on bottom. This is part two, the Douglas fir. With the, the tree on the on the panel truck there. This is gorgeous. That one, I like that and this one. This is family fun when they're out cutting the Christmas tree down as a family. Mm -hmm. And of course, you notice there's snowflakes on these things. I still like it. This is balsam fir. Yep, I was just thinking it. I think there's a hot cocoa shop. This is hot cocoa. More of a hot cocoa shed. 
Okay, and then we got Fresh Pines. And then we have Cookies. Is that the last one in the series? Mm. Yep, it's the last one. Yep. Now we have uh, Jingle All The Way. Little barn and a little house there. Okay. Oh, I got this one because Leah told me I need to stitch it. Neighborhood Dog Show. Mm-hmm. And Ginger wants to be the... Ginger says, I want to be right there in the corner. I have to change that corner dog to Princess to Ginger. Ugh. October's Party. That's a lot to read. Okay, October gave a party. The leaves by hundreds came. The chestnuts, oaks, and maples and leaves of every name. The sunshine spread a carpet and everything was grand. Miss Weather led the dancing professor wind and band, wind band. I hope I said that all right, but it's pretty. All right, now we have spring ABCs. I know there's a lot of people at one time collecting all these Summer ABCs. This is two white houses. Oh. Friends going back and forth, b borrowing floss from each other. Yeah. Ooh, I like this one. This one I like. This is winter ABCs. Look at all those cool little three <laughs> Who is this? Okay, there's that's that. This is Elizabeth Hancock sampler, so it's a reproduction sampler. Look at that. So there it is. And what's down here? So down here, I think that might have been the original, and that's a reproduction. I'm not sure. All right, and then and um, the last one. The last one from Classic Color Works from um, the cross stitching house. Mm -hmm. We did it. Um, and then we have, um, because Classic Color Works and Little House Needlework are all the same company, um, they got together and they made this little kit. You get the threads. That's all that's in the kit. And then this is the pattern. This is uh, in, in Woods Express. So that's the pattern. And then that's all the threads for it. Excuse me, job. Okay. It wouldn't be a Friday night without a yawn. <laughs> All right. Um, what's in here? Okay. All right. Okay. See, this one, I'm going to get in trouble because this is one of our designer focus designers for, for um, this year. This is Little Robin Designs. And this first one here is, Ronnie loved it so much, he did it twice. No, wait, he did it three times. All she surveys. <laughs> Get that. Is that not pretty? I mean, that's a very lovely sampler. Well, not really a sampler. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Yeah, Apple trees. I do it three and... times. <laughs> he was just seeing if I was paying attention. And if you guys were listening to me, uh, this is, uh, here you go. You can do the French. Angele del Hoax. Yep. Angele, Angele, Angele. Yep. It's a red sampler mm. with the alphabet. And this is uh, AT 1797. There was a big uh, stitch along going on with this one. I can take a look at this. Oh, wow. It is so pretty. I love the colors. Again, this is uh, AT 1797. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. I remember there was, there was like a big stitch along with that one. I haven't heard any updates on that. Maybe you guys all finished it. This is uh, Autumnal Sampler. 
Life starts all over again when it gets crisp in the fall. Look at that little cat. I like that moon. That's a nice moon. Look at that. Yeah, I'm looking for you. And then we have Charlotte Bridger, 1843. Ooh, look at all that. Oh my gosh. Okay, and this one. This one goes with that. From this thing. And now we have um, Christmas at Grandma's number one. Under glass ornaments. And then we have, this is the one that I love everybody, that one. even Ronnie's going to do, right? Yes. Christmas at Grandma's. One day. Christmas at Grandma's three. They're so that cute. Yeah. And it looks, it really, he does look just like that ornament, that 1950s style ornament there. Yeah. I like these. These are the feather trees. This is Christmas feather tree. I think these are really fun. Oh, this little snowman. I didn't even, did you guys see? There's a snowman down here. Yeah. I thought it was, no, I thought it was like a sticker or something. Oh, I didn't know you stitched ornament it. or something. Yeah. Oh, wow. Christmas magic sampler. Christmas magic is silent. You don't hear it. You feel it. You know it. You believe it. And then there's ABCs and reindeer. Isn't that cute? Oh, I love that. I love that one. With this one here? Yeah. Charlotte Griffiths. Look at those flowers. Teach me to feel another's woe, to hide the fault I see, that mercy I to others show that mercy showed to me. She was eight when she stitched this. Wow. That's really good stitches. I mean, the placement wise. Uh, this is Clarissa Beaumont, 1875. Ooh, here's another feather tree. This is an Easter feather tree. Oh, and she put the rabbit on the bottom too. Oh, okay. That's her. It's the Easter feather tree. Ooh. It's a single color. I like this one. This is Elsa. Elsa. Elsom's. Elisa. 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 1827. Yeah. You can read it. Elisa, like Elizabeth. I like Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it? Um, well, in Spanish, people call for short name Elisa. Elisa? To Elizabeth. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, this or is... Isa. Oh. Yeah. This one's for you. Freedom Feather Tree. Look at the picture. That right is gorgeous. Yeah. The eagle there on the bottom. You know me very well. Well, mm -hmm. I like. Yep. He's a patriotic boy. Uh, this is E. E.E.'s e. Little Sampler. Oh, cute little bird. Uh oh, I saw something in my little eye. So Ronnie's going to do the patriotic one, and I'll have to do the Halloween feather tree. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. <coughs> oh, my God, that's so cool. Okay. But now, this is the one that I will be starting when um, we have a uh, little Robin as designer focus, I'll be starting High Flying Bunny. I saw this at market last year, stitched up. It is so pretty. It's a nice big Easter piece. Mm. Le Papillon? Papillon. 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 Butterfly, right? The Papillon. Oh, that goes over here. And here is Little Liberties. Justice. 1776, Justice and Liberty. Yep. Cool. And you only need two colors, red and blue. Mm-hmm. Makes it very fun. Oh, here's another one I need to do. Moon shining bright, pumpkins alight, no shadows to fear on all hollows night. Look at that. Look at that big giant pumpkin there. Uh -oh. That's a cool one, Jack O'Lantern made. He got carried away there, didn't he? <laughs> the Birdman Cometh. 
I don't understand, but I'm not. It's colorful. It's very bright. Yeah. I've got to read the story one day. All right, this is the Charming Cow Sampler. Charming Cows. Oops, my fingers, my fingers in the way. And that was it for Little that Robin. That is Little Robin Sharks. Wow. Yeah, we are almost halfway, guys. <laughs> With the L. <laughs> All right, and now we have... I didn't think there was a lot of L's, but I guess there... We had you can take one. a break, go for a drink, go for a coffee. And when you come back, we'll still be here and talking. Yes. But the good thing is you can pause us and watch us over a couple of days. All right. So now we have... Little Stitch Girl. Yes. Oh, I wanted to... While we're... Let's take a little pause here. Uh, we are putting on the bottom in the drop-down menu of every video the whole length of all of the name, the title of every video that has our shop to shop. Um, the mm -hmm. letters like A to whatever and, and all that, what video number it is. So if you just now picked it up and you're like, what's what about the other letters? Click, look on the do drop down and see there's all the other letters. Yes. I should have said that earlier, but this is Firework Lane. I did finally finish mine, didn't I? Yes, I did. That is beautiful. I gotta take mine to get framed. I love this piece. And I did finish this one too because it's right over on his shoulder. It's right there. Haunted Hill Road. What? Right there. Oh, above the, the witch's brassiere. Yep. All right. And now we have Harvest House. Harvest House. And now we have this is a, this is a series she's got Spooky Hollow, and she's done like different takes on them. This is Bed and Breakfast, Rest in Peace, Bed and Breakfast, it's all Halloween themed. These are on my list to do one day because I want them all to like I want to do like little square finishes. This is Dance Hall, Monster Mash, and of course the vampire is. Dracula is there, keeping you moving, get your blood pumping. <laughs> All right, here's the Spring Street. If you just like the houses in spring. Then we have Summer Circle. Summer Circle. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I have been stitching this one forever, and it's not a lot of stitches to do. I just got to sit down and do it. This is the uh, cemetery. When I first started it, I was thinking that guy there, the green guy, was was uh, Frankenstein. And then I dawned on me, he's a zombie, he's, but he's still pretty cool. Because there's a hand coming up out of the grave. Well, Frankenstein is a zombie. A multiple mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's Frankenstein is Frankenstein. He's his own character. And this is uh barber shop barber shop from this oh that isn't this one i'm thinking it wasn't the other oh barber shop yeah there's a stitch shop here yeah yeah and then here's jolliest santa and his, that is so cute in his uh black and red outfit he's got red king check buffalo check on he's a buffalo chuck salmon here we go and now we barber have shop. Uh, we have the boutique oh Oh, Dracula, he's got a lot of businesses, doesn't he? This is the boutique. Either he's going in there or the ghost is the owner. I'm not sure who's the owner. But it's a green shop. I like it. This one is Gary had to do it and do it in a green. Change the purple to green. Yes. This is the stitchery. And I'll put Garon stitchery up there instead of yeah. spider web. Instead of spider web stitchery, I can put Garon stitchery on this one. Change it from purple to, to green. Because it's got a green witch on it too. Cool. I like that one. I'm thinking I'm losing that one than yeah. the other one. But Here is Tricks or Treat. This is a very fun um, candy corn, isn't it? I love it. It's pretty simple, but it's still fun. Simply Saying January. She had a couple of these that we got. Uh, Simply Saying January. They're like little tiles and stuff. 
And then we got mm -hmm. Simply Saying February. Oh, is it different? Okay. Simply Saying February. And then we have Simply Saying March, Get Lucky. Those are fun. And then we have April. I don't know if she finished the series or not. And then we have Live Life in Full Bloom. This is May. A very fun little series. And now we have A Sampling of Spring. Oh, this is cute. Oh, she's throwing some specialty stitches on us. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Look at that. That's pretty. Okay. Oh, here's June. Maybe they're all here. Oh. oh. Simply saying June? Why are you in June? No, they're by number. Oh, yes. yes. We put that, her, yeah. yeah, we put her stuff by number order. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me try here. Maybe this is bigger. Oh, no. oh there it is. Little Stitch Girl. Her shards by, go by number for us to to pull. Yeah. All right. Here's United. United we plaid. She just came out for a market. She's releasing the Halloween plaid houses, and I'll be doing those. But this is United. This is patriotic plaid houses. United we plaid. That's a fun play on words. And the gate, the gatekeeper purr, gatekeeper. Oh, I love it. The gatekeeper. Get it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Instead of ER, it's purr. Stitching with oh. friends. The only thing better than stitching is stitching with friends. I, I agree. Every Sunday, it's so much fun to stitch with friends on Sunday. <laughs> and this is the gift of giving. As we gather around the tree, lights aglow. For all to see, Christmas spirit in the air, passing presents wrapped with care. Of all the gifts that have been given, the best gift is the gift of giving. I love the little elf. That is cute. Yeah, that's a very, very cute little series, little sample. Uh, and then to go with that, she created these little guys, mm -hmm. but they came, they're not in this pattern. They, they came out separately so we can get them. Little little tags and stuff. I thought we had some of them. They must have sold really quick then. Here is from Santa. I love this one. I seen it stitched. It's mm. two little pieces you stitch and then you just find something and put it in. From Santa. And then here is Potty Like It's 1776. And then it's Patrick. Yep. And this is this is a really nice one. This is the three meet. This is the definitions. There's three definitions: the meaning of the flag, perseverance, purity, and valor. And that's what the colors of the flag represent. So that's a really fun, fun, nice to throw some definition in your in your patriotic stuff. And here is proud to be an American, and it's got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's like at least, yeah. Oh, it says on the back, eight patriotic designs. And those, and that was Little Stitch Girl. All right, now we're going with. Now we're going with Lizzie Kate. Um, Lizzie Kate. Uh, we only have a very little bit. I don't know if people know it, but we do carry some Lizzie Kates. Um, after she retired, her patterns went elsewhere. But um, this is a couple of them. This is some of them that I've done or going to do. So I was able to get my hands on. This is uh, February Flip It. And Ronnie made this into a little pillow for me in my uh, Valentine's Day display. And it comes with the little um, heart. The little charm. Little heart charm right there on the picture. Yep. And this is Where's the Party? I stitched this guy. He was fun. Very quick and simple. Well, it's called a quick. <laughs> and then here is, these are multiples. There's two patterns in each one of them. And they, so this is a uh, holly and stocking. Stocking is the smaller one. So you stitch them all together to make this banner. Hmm. Uh -huh. So this is 
holly and stocking. This is tree and candy. And they, do they come with the little charms? Is there little charms? Oh. We got extra things stuck in there. We had two stuck together. Yeah, this one have a heart and a little tree. Okay. I cannot show it because it's... Uh, it's right next to the chart. Yes. Yeah, so this is cam candy and tree. And if there's little <laughs> charms on there, they come with the little charm. Yeah. This one had a little heart and I don't know what is that. Stocking. Mm -hmm. Stocking. And then we have <coughs> oh, sorry. Carols and Peace. So here is Carols and Peace is so tiny. But when you stitch them all together, they'll all go flow just like that. So that's and this one have a oh wait a minute. This is something. Uh I can't show. Okay, this is the little sh charms coming in the charts. See, I, I'm thinking and do this. Yeah, but you don't want to bend it too much. No, so I this haven't. next one is a Halloween group. <coughs> We've got a couple of, but we only got, looks like we only got two of. So this is Pumpkin and Fright. So there's Pumpkin and Fright. And then here is Ghost and Halloween. This one had little buttons. Yeah, they come with little buttons and stuff. But if you, when you get when you collect all of them, you can stitch them all in that section right there. But we were mm. what we got is all we could get with these. So this is this next one spells Merry Christmas, and it's got it spells Merry Christmas, and it's got the words out like that. So you've got M E. And R R. Oh, there it is. M E and R R. That makes Mary. Mm. And then you got Y, C, and H. So the rest of the Y for Mary, and there's C and H. And this is R I S T. Oh, wait. Well, we got the whole section on this one. Okay. These ones, I'm not going to show uh, individuals. But this one bring with the little buttons. It's a pink and red buttons. Yeah. And this is, t so we got the whole series on this one. This is T T M A S. So you can end up stitching. So we got everything to stitch that whole piece. That's cool. Yeah. Right. And all our little buttons. Okay. Um, and this is one that I, I want to stitch too. This is Tingles. And I'm not sure if we have all of this. This is two pieces. So there's the two little, of course you see the little Frankenstein, that's what drew me to this piece. But see, it's when it's stitched all together, it looks like that. But you've got that too. This is, then you got just, and if there's little buttons, there's that show, they always include little buttons. Yeah, and stuff. there's buttons. Yeah, there's always like little black buttons. This is uh, just Batty and Trick or Treat. Just Batty, Trick or Treat, those are two. And then we got, um, it's Hollow Scream and Toil and Trouble. Okay. And then we got It's Halloween and Fright Night. Yeah, I think we're I don't I think we're missing some of the series on this one. But if you were trying to collect them and these were ones you're missing, it's always good to do that. So here's another here's luck. Just in time for March. He's a quickie if you get him done very quick. And he comes with the little um, shamrock. Yeah, they glue it always on top of the chart. Yeah. Oh, I did this one. Where's she at? I think I need to get her. Yeah, but this one did that glue the noise stock. Yeah, it's but you can't show it's, it uh, on the. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think I have her. I have her stitched. I just need to get her finished. This one, oh, no. This is Plunkin. Isn't she cute? I love this little witch. And then we have some little uh, stocking sleds. You stitch them on paper and they'll go on the little wooden s sleds. You so, sure you're not nothing there? No, that's it. And then that's it from Lizzie and K. That was Lizzie K. Yeah. Now we're going with, and you can tell this is, this, this is one that I have in my collection to do because it's got me and Princess Leah walking out at night. Ginger and Ronnie's asleep in the house. This is Halloween Resurrection. Isn't that cool? That is that cute skeleton. Yeah. 
And when you finish it, they, they set it to finish on one of their Loam Elm boxes. So a little um, wow. shaker box. So. Okay. Right. Who is the design? Uh, Loam Elm. Okay. Yeah. And then we have just a, one? Oh. One is what we uh, have in left. Okay. This is Long Dog Samplers, high and dry. There's some elephants and unicorns, rabbits, deers. Yeah. So this is high and dry. I like the elephants with the crown on it. So there you go. It's high and dry. I'm doing that in that white thread with a darker color fabric. White thread on dark fabric? Popping more. Hmm, cool. Yeah, that, that, that picture. They got it reversed. This picture is too... For me, it's too light. Yeah. The fabric. Okay. I love it too. Make it dark. Popping more there. Well, actually, work. what what you're looking at is reversed. If you pull it back out, you stitch the blue, the white, you stitch the blue, the white is the fabric. Oh, no, wait. Huh? No, 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 no. He was right. I'm wrong. I'm looking at the fabric. All right. I've seen people stitch it both ways. That's why I got confused. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Now we're going with Lucy Bean. Love and Stitches. Yep. And this is almost, almost batty. Isn't she cute? She is a cutie, cutie, cutie. Look at that witch. And then we got bats and witches hats. Bats, bats, cats, and witches hats. Say that 10 times fast. And then we got... Oh. Then we got B Groovy. Cute little bird there. I miss you. <laughs> Already? It's only four charts. <laughs> All right, then we got Bittersweet. These are a little patriotic piece, I think. Yeah, bittersweets. Bittersweet Fall. And then we got Call for the Doctor. Call for the doctor, call for the nurse, call for the lady with the alligator purse. That's a cute one. And then we have cross stitch 24 seven. Is that what we do? That's what we do 24 seven. And then we have, then we have cross stitch makes everything okay -er. I think we all should have that in our stash to do. That's a fun one. And it's it's a mantra that we all should live by. And then we have Crafty Witches. Those are some big scissors. I don't, I don't know what they're cutting. Maybe each other, but those are some big scissors. All right. And then we got Ghost of Christmas Past Tombstone. Here lies the Ghost of Christmas Past who came to a sticky end of a candle sniffer died in in the 19 I don't know what that died the 19 1843 I don't know what eight, yeah I don't get the date but um, but I liked everything else then I got lost maybe if I had my glasses on I could probably really understand it sticky in by a candle a sniffer dead or is it December? December. Oh, it's December. The 19, 1843. Told you. It's a spotted fabric, too. It was kind of hard. Oh, well. It's hard to read, too. Yeah. Ghostly ghostly Guards. That's one I have to restart because I started on 40 count, and I, I really want to stitch this on something more relaxing. Ghost and Pumpkin's uh, drum roll. Oh, look at that cutie. Look at that. Look at that pumpkin. He's like... Evil pumpkin. Arr. All right, and then we got growing pumpkins, and I think we have growing pumpkins again. Growing pumpkins. Oh, I'm pretty twice. Oh yeah, maybe because I like it. <laughs> uh, he's. I'm rubbing off on him. Here's Halloween angel. Okay, here's Halloween Gourds. That's fun. Then we got 
Halloween under the sea. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. There's, there's a shark going inside the eye of the punk. <laughs> <coughs> That's funny. And it's all in a jar. Okay. And this is also another one that we all should live by. Immortal. Buying crustage like I'm immortal. And this is definitely going to be hanging up in the shop. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll find you. This one too. I don't know who used my fabric scissors, but I will find you. Yep. And then we have Joy Angel. She had like a little stocking collection there. And we have Merry Halloween. Oh, that's a big dress. I'm sorry, what is flowers? Huh? Those are bubbles from the oh oh bubble 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 bubble, bubble bubble yeah from the cauldron, making a big old potion. It's going everywhere. Right, and then we got Mary Santa. I think he just came out in the fall. I remember him. He's cute. This is gorgeous. I like this one. This is Mary Snowfall. You can do it in one day. Ah, snowflakes. <laughs> 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 oh, well. ah, that'd be funny. Sometimes. So mean. No, it's okay. mean. It'd be funny. All right, so we still have more Lucy Bean. Yep. But wait, there's more. <laughs> this is Mary Nori, uh, 1859. Okay, there we go. All right. And now we have Open If You Dare. I like this one. I have I have to do this one. I'm thinking you already did. Uh uh. Oh my goodness. No, I've been waiting to stitch it. One day, one day is coming. This is Santa Jolly. Look at those pants. He's got like uh is those um those are pants like uh MC Hammer? <laughs> Parachute pants. I love it. It's so cute. It's weird. Uh this is she wanted honey. She wanted some honey, so she got the bees. That's right. It's a woman with a plan. This is Mark. Yep. Now this one I finished. This is a skeleton Santa. Yeah, and, I did that. And Ronnie finished it into a little berry. Mm. Yeah, he's so cute. Look. Again. Oh, maybe it's because I like it. The ones I like it, that makes it right. multiples. So here's another one under somewhere under the sea, and it's a jar. Looks, yeah, like, looks like it's stitched in a jar. Okay, funny. All right. Ooh, this. Oh, this is a stitch along. This is uh, though he seemeth sleeping. This is the repro. This is the original, not what you're stitching. So you won't be stitching yours that run unless you wash it. But this is the original. And we have, look at, oh my God, look at those waves. They go left, then they go right. They go, oh, wow. This is, oh. look at, they go left, then they go right. Look at those waves. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Wow. And from here, looking through the camera, it looks like scales or something. Wow. That is fun. <laughs> okay. And now we have tomato basket. All the tomatoes. And then we got Tomato Tavern. Okay, Tomato Tavern, you're going to need five skeins. No, wait. Six. Ten skeins of red to do this tomato. And six cake. Six, yeah. So to do that red tomato, you're going to need six tomato skeins. All right. Okay. Ten, 10 tomato skeins and light khaki is six. So light khaki would be the, the words there. Wow. That, oh my, I'm going to see what that finished. This is Valentine's Angel. Okay. And then way, and the final one is way to a friend's. This, the way to a friend's house is never long. Very cute. We're getting there. We're up to Luhu Stitches. Uh-oh. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get you guys on this one because she's got some cutesy, cutesy, cutesy ones. So this is Autumn Fling. There you go again. And I got it twice. You must really, okay, Autumn Fling. Okay. I don't know when I And now we that. have Bella Luna. For our little Halloween lovers, you know who we are. And then we have Folk Art Christmas Tile. Ronnie loved this one. We get two of these again. <laughs> See, and the thing is, he complains about putting them back in the plastic afterward. <laughs> That's the funny, funny uh, part. <laughs> you're so mean. <laughs> okay, now we've got, this is, here's the cute ones. This is Flora's <laughs> Basket. It's a bunny. Isn't she cute? And those reds. This is all... Oh, it's converted to DMC. So you can do them in DMC. And this one right here is the Tulip Cottage cat collection. Buy one. Tulip Cottage. Oh, that one don't have plastic. No, no, don't have plastic. Okay. And now we, and this one either. This one is called Frosted Christmas. Look at that. That's a fun little tree in that. And now we have Santa uh, that, Kringle. That one. So you stitch it on paper. Um, mm. Yeah. Yep. But you don't have one, yes. No, you don't have to. You can stitch oh. it on fabric. Okay. But, I mean, they've made it into ornament to stitch it on paper. Oh, okay. So, but it would be just as pretty to stitch on fabric. Mm-hmm. And then we have Mary Snow People with the Scotty Dog and his little, and the snowman with his red hat. New every morning. Oh, that is so bright and cheery. Look at those flowers. Yeah. New bright and cheery. I like that. But I love this next one. Singing in the rain. Look at those ladybugs in the in the in the corn flower. Look at that. Singing in the rain. I remember that song. <laughs> Me too. A whole lifetime ago. Oh, now here we go. Spring fling. Okay. And then we have Summer Fling. <laughs> and now we have Snowbird. Oh, he's a cutie. I like that one. Snowbird. He's fun. And then here is Tulip Cottage. This is the little rabbit again. Oh, little rabbit with the pink and the teal. Oh, he's so cute. And then we have Winter Fling. That's a pretty one. Look at those reds. I like that. And now the last one from Lou Who Stitches is Walking on Sunshine. Look at that ladybug. <laughs> sun, the sun has sunglasses. <laughs> These are such fun patterns. And now we are close to the end, guys. Is this the last design? Yep. The last design, I need the box. <laughs> All right. Last L, but not the least L. This is uh, Luminous Fiber Arts. Uh, this is, <coughs> oh yeah, I remember this one. This is Enchanted Quaker. How many of you finished this? Because I know this thing was flying out the door when we got it in. Just need one color. Any color, any crazy fabric. It's so fun. This is a Robin's Discovery. There's no Move plastic. It over here. Oh. This is Robin's Discovery. Okay. Then we have a Raven's Reply. And Ronnie's getting a phone call. Yeah. And then we have All Hollows Eve. These are fun pumpkins. Look at them. That's a fun one. All, 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 where's the name of it? All Hollows Eve. Cat O'Lantern. <laughs> Cat O'Lantern. Her stuff is so happy and cheery. Catty Lane. 
for the cat lovers out there. You know? I love the folk, uh, the colorful in that one. Yeah, bright colors. colors. Yeah, I love bright colors. Mm -hmm. This is Comfort and Joy. Comfort and Joy. Turn down there. Oh. And this, oh, I, I have to stitch this one too. This is Cottontail Farms Fancy Grade A Carrots. I'm definitely stitching that that guy. He's a sweetie. I mean, look at that. Oh, wow. And then we have <laughs> Fleece on Earth. This is for our knitters out there. Fleece on Earth. <laughs> oh, Ronnie liked it so much. He did it twice. And now we have Friendship Series BFF Bunnies. So this is Bunnies. And then we have another Friendship Series. This is uh, Stashing Squirrels. This is a great little fun series. And then we have Stitching Birds. Wait, is that stitched? Oh my God, that's so cool. There's a tape measure on here that you stitch yourself. I know someone would probably end up sewing the tape measure on from something else. From, from uh, was it Lady Dot Create? She's mm -hmm. got that tape measure. Cheetah. Yep. Oh yeah, I like this one because it's it's really bright red. This is Gathering Berries. She's got the whole Gathering series. Yep. And then of course I like this one because it's green Gathering Clover. I love it too. Yeah. And then we've got for the for the bee lovers out there gathering honey. And all these are these are done with Belsois silks. The, and this is gathering snowflakes. I like this because look at that snowman. He is so cute. And there's not a lot of snowflakes, that's why I love it. Gathering stitches. Oh look, oh the birds actually doing giant X's. That will go really quick. That's fun. Fun idea. Now we got Haunted. So you get four charts there. This is Haunted. Wow. Wow. And now we got Hocus Pocus. Look at that cat. That cat is in trouble. That cat knows he's up to no good. A little star running her way. I like this one too. Hop, hop, peep, leap. This, I love this series. This is a fun little series with the three stacks. And then we got the Jingle Jolly Joy. I like that one too. Yeah, it's, it's fun. I like separate. Well, yeah, okay, so so she shows that you separate them, make them with the yeah. ornaments. I like that. That's, I didn't see that before. Yeah, I like separate Ooh. little wow. ornaments. Oh, cool. So then when you do the Easter tree, you can do the little ones for the Easter tree. Here is um, Mouse Capades 5, Filling Santa's Bag. It's a series that she was doing. Okay. And then here's Mouse Capade 6, Trimming the Tree. All right, and now for those of you who want to start Ronnie's stocking style, here's a mini red stocking for you. It's Noel Roche. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You guys can have it done just in time for... for... Christmas in July? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking Valentine's Day, but I'm like, wait, I think Valentine's Day already passed. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another sneaky, this is Sneaky Spooky Spells. Another one that you could break up in little pillows and stuff. And now we have Spooky October. You did that one. No. I'm thinking no, you did. No, someone in the group. Someone in the group. Somebody do it. But yeah. I don't see a finish yeah. yet. Spooky October. That was in the group, I remember. Ooh, I like this one. Oh my gosh, her rabbits are so fun. This is Spring Scamper. I love that one too. So cute. The rabbits riding the car carrot and the chicken and the chicken, the chicks riding the rabbit. Oh my God, that's so hilarious. It's like, this is what we need when we come out of winter. And the colors. Yeah, we need I love it. it. Oh, look. Look at this. Pull it up. Pull it up. Look at that. I think this might be a winner. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Really close. 
And then we have squirreling around. I don't say that too fast. Squirreling around. Acorns. Acorns. That's they mean for Amina to, to find right. out there. And that's it from um, Luminous Fiber Arts. Way. Now the last, last chart is we only have one from this designer, but it's a good one. Of course, it's a good one. It's called, the designer's name is Love for Love, L-U-V, L-U-V? Yeah, L-U-V for Cross Stitch, and it's called Happy Halloween. Oh my God. Love for Cross Stitch. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that piece. Is that not like, oh my God. That is so fun. Um, Oh yeah, there's back stitching. Oh yeah, but it's not that bad. It's not everything, but it's just enough to make it pop. I love it. That is so cool. I know Marie, you're not doing this one yet. And that guys was the shop to shop. Yep, shop to shop, letter L. Letter um, L and part the J. Yeah, <laughs> so next week. We don't have. We will not have. We don't video. have video no we will not have a video next week no. we always hope one day that we can film things at, at market and then come home and put it in but the problem is we get so caught up in the moment and we're running we it's impossible sure. yeah even it's on impossible. sunday we tried a little bit on sunday but then when we looked at what we recorded it was like yeah it missed the yeah. moment so it's yeah. one of those places where you've got to where they truly say put your phone down and be in the moment and that's it's an experience of a lifetime. Yeah. If we can take some video or pictures, we will share with you guys after market. Yeah. 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 We, if we can. Yeah. But we can. We. I don't like to say no, no. We can at all yeah. because maybe we can. Like yeah, like sneak. I said, we always try. Yeah. And then we're like, oh, and then then it's like we're driving back. We're like, did we take any pictures? <laughs> yeah. All right. So thank you guys for spending time with us. Thank you, Jao. And, it's and been a see you in two weeks. Two weeks. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jao. I'm going to take a video like I do before when they are started the demolition. There was a gate, garage door gate. And you see that video, you can see the difference. All right, here is a little room. We're going to be around 30 bags. All right, and we're going to this way. Here will be the ladies' room. This is still half. To put the floor. This is gonna be a little hole over here. There gonna be the storage room when the air condition is. And there in this area is when we planning to put the tables or people visit and stitching. And this is another little room when the emergency door is All right. Now you see the building is 90% done. All right. Bye, y'all.